Gracious young friends, again, the same heavenly joy. Again, this uh, joy is fresh and um, it's literally uh, living in our hearts and, uh, and souls um, because it's connected not with a um, pond, <laughs> but with a well and uh, with a spring in the mountains of God. Truth is a spring. It continues flowing in our hearts. Today, today we have a blessing, an unexpected blessing, and uh, I was so surprised that I hardly could wait to share it with you. Uh, it's about um, uh, buying or selling the truth. What would you say if you would uh, go and you would see near a, uh, on a store, on the front of the store, um, written these words, truth for sale. What would you understand about that? Well, it is uh, absolutely uh, a, a deep concept. We will not have time to explore it in, uh, uh, com uh, I would say, a little larger in this presentation because of the short time. But I am so glad that I can submit to your attention and to your research this concept of buying and selling the truth. That's amazing. Proverbs 23, 23. Buy the truth and do not sell it. Wisdom, instruction or discipline, and insight or understanding. Good judgment, healthy judgment. Buy this. Invest into this, says other translations. And treasure them very much. Make this one way. People buy and sell. Some people buy products in different uh, auctions and they leave them there. They sell it again next week. It, uh, this is not applicable to truth. Once you understood the value of truth, uh, once you decided to invest like for the pearl of great price, everything you have for truth, because you understood the truth is not a concept, uh, it's a person. Jesus said, I am the truth. When you uh, seek the truth and you invest in truth, you are investing in Jesus. You are acquiring Jesus in your life. This is not a theoretical concept or a magic operation. It's not. It's something uh, absolutely uh, down to earth. You search for truth, you find it, you understand its value, you invest in the truth and then you guard the truth, you protect it in your life because uh, the operation is not ready uh, once you bought the truth, it's not once forever. You bought it and now you have to guard it. Do you remember what, the, what God told our first parents about the garden? The Garden of Eden said, um, Yes, work on it, continue developing the truth, work on it and guard it. Because uh, uh, if you do not guard it and if you do not continue investing, uh, it's going to die. So uh, we are talking now about a transaction around the truth, about a truth transaction. Gracious friends, this is not an easy concept, though it is simple, but it's not an easy concept. It's not going to land and stay with us permanently unless we take care of it permanently. Uh, first of all, based on the fact that uh, truth is, uh, or Jesus is truth personified, truth in person, we declare to have the highest appreciation for truth. If this is true, and this is true, then no investment is too much for us in acquiring the truth. And no price ever uh, will be talked about or even taken into consideration for, for selling or abandoning the truth and exchanging it for a lie. I know we are tempted deep in our conscience, as Romans chapter 1 says, to suppress the truth in our conscience because we want to do evil and 
The truth is screaming and crying against our own soul. Don't do that. Stop, stop, stop. And then uh, because we are determined to do that evil, take that evil step. Uh, and also we cannot deny the voice of truth in our conscience. We suppress it. Well, uh, it's it's a, an absolutely bitter, absolutely bitter experience. The truth is described uh, like uh, we met in these verses as um, uh, wisdom, instruction or discipline and understanding. It is not enough to acquire truth. It needs pro processing. If you buy food and you don't eat it, you are going to starve, starve to death. Back in Romania, one of the rich people had a servant that died and they called the doctor for an autopsy. And the doctor said, um, yeah, he died. Why did he die? Because he had nothing in his stomach. Um, th then the rich man said, I told you he had nothing. He died just for nothing. But yeah, but you understand the, the sad, the tragic irony of the situation. It is not enough to acquire the truth. You need to process it. You need to feed yourself on the truth. You need to cultivate it. You need to transfer it to other people too, because in the process, you will not lose the truth when you transfer it. When you sell it for a lie, that's a different story. Or you literally uh, 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 go on the part of the, of, of the lie um, based on profit. That's a different story. But when you transfer the truth, it's like a, a light, uh, a, like a candle lighting other candles. This candle doesn't lose anything by lighting other candles. And uh, the, the whole earth will be filled with the light of the truth of God. But what the Lord is telling us here, uh, it's, it's to be very careful about three things. First of all, uh, praying for understanding of the importance of truth. Help me understand how important truth is. Uh, in another presentation, we'll be talking about truth as medicine. Yeah, it's a good medicine for sleeping good, for smiling all your life. Truth. Lie. Lie, it's a poison that make you toss in your bed all night long because you're afraid maybe it will be found out tomorrow. It's a torture. Truth is medicine. That's why God is truth and he recommends truth to us uh, like one of the translations of the of the bible says invest everything in truth invest everything and then guard it with jealousy don't, don't ever lose it buy the truth and sell it not uh, a truth it's something of the highest value as we mentioned before it's jesus who declared, I am the truth, and abandoning the truth, or changing the truth, is changing Jesus for something or somebody. Can you, uh, can you fathom what this kind of exchange would be for a person? What a disaster. We saw many people that made disastrous transactions in life, uh, sold way underpriced, and then they were so sorry, some of them committed suicide, and and stuff like that. But uh, when it's about uh, selling the truth, it means betraying Jesus. Selling him, betraying him. What's left in this situation? Uh, the, the Bible said, do not even think on doing that. Uh, be careful because the, the evil one has weapons against the truth that you just bought and you continue developing and you continue falling in love with truth and uh, you feel the health and the joy uh, that truth brings uh, in our lives and be careful the evil one has weapons to fight against and uh, one of them it's uh, 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 the logic is it logic etc and um, Dostoevsky said that if one day uh, you will come with a discovery, a logic discovery that Jesus never existed, and you will say, this is the truth. 
he said, uh, yeah, uh, I will let you with your truth and I will stay with Jesus <laughs> because there, there cannot be a truth that denies the real truth. That's not truth. It's the opposite. Do not be reasoned out of the truth or laughed out of it. Be careful about that. Uh, this is a quotation I got from from a commentary. It is. It is. Uh, there are. These are the two ways. And under the pressure of different things, we can sometimes be tempted to to, to exchange truth for a lie, especially when our lives are threatened. You remember Peter. You remember him. He had this moment of trying to protect his life. It was not that he didn't believe in Jesus. He confessed. But uh, he was protecting his life because he didn't believe God can protect him. It happened and it happens frequently in our lives when we think uh, we can protect our lives better than God. <laughs> no, this is not. And in all this situation, truth enter into equation. They start about selling the truth. Uh, Esau, uh, I'm dying of, uh, I'm starving. And, and Jacob said, sell me your birthright. He did that. And then the Bible says he regretted horribly, but could not reverse the situation. Uh, beloved friends, uh, once I was asked to be a false witness and uh, I refused. I was threatened on spot. And then I was slapped on my face, uh, slapped to death. And when I recovered, um, I, I talked to that man and uh, he forced me again. And I said, no, I will not be a false witness. He struck me again the second time. I almost lost my conscience. But how glad I am today, how glad I am today that I didn't accept that offer. He was offering. <laughs> no, precious friends, uh, I, I, let's go back to our Bible verse, buy the truth and do not sell it under any circumstances. I better sell my life than truth, which is Jesus. Wisdom, instruction or discipline and insight or understanding or healthy, good judgment. Buy the truth. That means investment effort, searching, praying, searching your own soul, letting yourself prepared by God for truth. He is preparing us. And um, yes, it is up to us to sell everything we have for truth. And truth is a person. Precious Lord, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. They give us a not only a taste of truth, but a, a life of truth. We make uh, truth the blood of our lives and because the, you are the truth. And may your presence be always with us and um, yeah, help us ever uh, to avoid, to even don't think on exchanging the truth for a lie or suppressing the truth. Help us uh, always follow in your steps. In Jesus' name. Amen.